The second subtopic under the compound interest is the continuous compounding. Investments are generally compounded annually, semi-annually, quarterly, and monthly as what we have discussed previously on the compound interest formula. So at times, interests are being paid every day or daily. This kind of conversion is referred to as continuous compounding where M is equal to 365 or 366. So for example, Christy makes it a practice to save a part of her allowance. She deposited her savings to the bank. Her savings amounted to 10,500 pesos. How much would she have in three years if the bank's interest is 4.5% compounded daily or continuously? Okay, given P is 10,500, our J is 4.5%, our M is, of course, 365 since daily siya or continuously. T is 3 years. We have to find the F. Finding for I, 0 0.045 divided by 365, that is a lot of decimal points. Okay, so that is 0 0.0001232. For n is t times m or 3 times 365, so 1,000. So that is equal to 1,095. So malaking number pa din siya. Kung sa i, madami tayong decimal value na nakita. Sa n, malaki yung value natin sa n in 1,000. So finding for f, that is 10,500 times 1 plus 0 0.0001232 raised to 1,095 wherein F is equal to 12,017 pesos and 64 centavos. So to simplify problems on continuous compounding, we can apply easier and more convenient formulas. So aside sa compound amount formula at sa present value formula under the compound interest, may mga convenient formulas pa tayo na mas madali under the Continuous compounding lang naman. In these formulas, the symbol E is used or it is called the Euler's constant which is approximately equal to 2.71828. So, ito yung mga formulas natin. Compound amount formula using continuous compounding F that is equal to P times E raised to J over T. So, hindi natin po problemahin yung value ng E dito kasi constant na siya which is 2.71828. Compound present value formula using continuous compounding, that is P, which is equal to F times E raised to negative J times T. Okay, so balik tayo sa ating example kanina. Iso shortcut natin yung ating formula. So, eto na lang yung magagamit natin. P is equal to 10,500, J is 0 0.045, and T is 3 years. So, gamit ang compound amount formula using continuous compounding, P is 10,500 times E raised to 0 0.045 times 3. 0 0.045 times 3 is 0.135. Then, E raised to 0.135, that is equal to 1.1445 times 10,500, that is equal to 12,017 pesos and 64 centavos. So, the same answer pa din yung makukuha natin. And take note, kung hindi nyo man makita sa calculator yung E, okay, substitute nyo na lang yung 2.71828 na value. Then, raise to the certain, to the given exponent. Okay? Next example, Arlene wants to have 75,000 pesos at the end of two years. How much should she deposit in a savings bank today if the bank pays interest as at 10% converted continuously? Okay, so 75,000 is our F, J is 10%, and T is two years. So using the compound percent value formula using continuous compounding, P is equal to F times E raised to negative JT. F is 75,000 times E raised to negative 0.10 times 2. And negative 0.10 times 2 is equal to negative 0.20. Then E 
raise to negative 0.20 that is equal to 0.8187 times 75,000 that is equal to 61,404 pesos and 81 centavos. Next, accumulate 39,800 for 8 years and 3 months at 10% compounded daily. Okay, so as we can see, our T is combination again of years and months. So we have to convert 3 months into years. So magiging decimal value ito. Accumulate, meaning we have to find for the value of F, given the P, which is 39,800. J is 10%, T is 8 years and 3 months, so 3 divided by 12. Kung ilan yung decimal value nito, yun yung i-add natin sa 8, which is 0 0.25 plus 8 is 8.25 years. So, finding for F... 39,800 times e raised to 0 0.10 times 8.25. 0 0.10 times 8.25 is equal to 0 0.825. e raised to 0 0.825 is equal to 2.2819. Then times 39,800 that is equal to 90,818 pesos and 85 centavos. Next example. Find the present value of 98,000 pesos due in 4 years and 1 month if money is worth 6.75% converted continuously. Okay? So, given our F, which is 98,000, since ang sabi sa problem, we have to find the present value or P. Okay? So, J is 6.75% or 0 0.0675. Again, combination ng years and months yung ating T. So, 1 over 12 is equal to 0 0.08 plus 4 is 4.08 years. So, finding for P, 98,000 times E raised to negative 0 0.0675 times 4.08. That is equal to, ang exponent natin is equal to negative 0.276 e raised to the exponent is 0 0.7591 times 98,000 that is equal to 74,391 pesos and 56 centavos. So that is all for continuous compounding. For your questions, just comment down on our discussion section.